Hey guys, what's up? I know I've done a lot of videos tonight, but I was working on this little project here and I thought that maybe you would be interested in seeing it. Uh, let me know about this camera angle. This is a much smaller tripod and the idea was I wouldn't have to zoom in at all, but it kind of makes things look a little fisheye, like my hands look huge. I don't know if I like it, but uh, anyways, on that Ontario Rat 1 folder, I did not like the black pocket clip. I hate that Teflon coating. It's shiny, doesn't last, so I sanded off all the uh, Teflon coating and decided to do a little stonewash on it. So here is a DIY stonewash tutorial. It's really easy, really easier than you thought. You just need some sort of container. I'm using my kids' sippy cup. Uh, they're little disposable ones. Any sort of uh, rigid container will work. Let's see if I can get the lid off of here. And then what you'll need is, here you can see, I've been doing this for a little bit, starting to get a pretty decent little stone wash on there. It's dirty. A lot of this is just gunk. Starting to get a good stone wash on there. I'd say it needs, you know, it needs more time. Um, but yeah, these are rocks from my backyard. And so you want to get smooth rocks. The smoother, smoother the better. You don't want jagged edges, that'll cause deep scratches. So you want like round, smooth rocks. I like to do different sizes because I feel that some of the smaller ones will get into uh, some of the smaller crevices and whatnot. But yeah, you just put rocks in there, put some sort of oil, WD-40, REM oil, whatever. It just kind of helps things um, glide along. And then, yeah, buddy, you shake it. You just, just do that for like an hour. I mean, depending on how hard the steel is you're trying to stonewash, you just... You just do that and you keep checking it and as soon as you think it's good enough then you're done and you can always throw it back in for longer all right guys later